Hey everyone, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. Today is Tuesday, April the 29th, and it's been a while since I've done a review, but I thought I would go ahead and do one for you guys. And anyway, uh, today's review is going to be coming out of the Lazy Magnolia Brewing Company out of Kiln, Mississippi. And usually when I uh, stop at the store and purchase a Lazy Magnolia product, uh, I normally go for their India Pale Ales, uh, but I think I've actually had, uh, I think one of their Stouts, maybe a Porter. Uh, I know I've had one of their Rye IPAs, uh, but anyway, I wanted to go ahead and do something. Uh, I think I've had this beer once before, but it's been so long uh, that I don't really remember exactly what it was like, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up and do a review on it. And anyway, like I said, it comes out of the Lazy Magnolia Brewing Company, and it is their Deep South American Pale Ale. Um, like I said, I think I've had this one once before, but it's been quite some time, and so I was kind of curious, uh, you know, as far as what, what it tastes like. So, um, anyway, I, I know a lot of uh, the people that follow me on YouTube and on Facebook have kind of requested that I don't actually uh, read off uh, scores rates from rate beer or beer advocate but i went ahead and checked this one out and the only reason that i'm going to go ahead today and read this one off is just because of something that i saw on rate beer uh rate beer gave this thing um for the style they only rated this beer a 23 out of like 100 which is uh extremely low um overall they rated this beer a 39 um, a lot of mixed reviews. I'm not going to get into other reviews, but um, like I said, a lot of mixed reviews. Some like it, some don't. I'm going to be the judge of that today, guys. Um, anyway, Beer Advocate gave this a little bit better of a score uh, with an overall score of 75, which is okay. Um, don't know anything about food pairings or anything like that. Um, do not know what uh, specific hops are used or malts, uh, so I can't give you that information today. I didn't do enough uh, research, um, but anyway, it, um, it does come in at a 5.3% alcohol by volume with uh, a low uh, 27 on the International Bitterness Unit, which is you know pretty low for what I'm used to but like I said this is not an India Pale this is a regular traditional American style pale ale uh, so anyway enough talk let's go ahead and let's crack this thing open let's see what it looks like I am gonna be pouring this into um, just a, kind of like a Nonic style glass um, ha haven't had this one off an awful uh, long time I've actually drank several beers out of this. I don't think I've actually did any video reviews with this glass, but you know, I've used the tulip and the pint glasses and I've used uh, the mug. So I wanted to go ahead and do a review using this glass. And this is slowly becoming my favorite um, glass that I own. And it's just only because it tends to hold a little bit more than the tulip glass. I can pour the whole beer into this thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's crack this thing open and let's check it out. Wow, this thing pours a ridiculous head. I think I poured that just a little too fast. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll let that settle down just for a few minutes and I'll go ahead and uh, kind of give you some more information. It does say um let's see if it tells on the back of the bottle the hops uh once again it does not tell uh the type of hops uh but i had one person on facebook kind of give me um a little uh, pointer on something that i could give you information wise uh for all of my local um followers on youtube and facebook uh in the in the tennessee north mississippi north alabama area I'm going to go ahead and tell you where you can pick this beer up. Uh, this beer is uh, readily available in North Mississippi. Uh, it's usually where I've seen it. Uh, but uh, like I said, North Mississippi, you can get it, at, I think, at Kroger um, and a store called Harper Quick Stop, which is uh, usually my go-to place. They have the biggest selection. Um, so, yeah, Harper Quick Stop. Um, I 
do believe that uh, Shiloh Market has that. Um, Harper Quick Stop is on Harper Road, uh, right beside the Texaco station. Uh, locals know it as Ben's Texaco. Best chicken in town. So if you like fried chicken, stop off at Ben's, pick up some chicken. Um, anyway, um, Shallow Market, if you don't uh, know or you're not familiar with the, the uh, Corinth, Mississippi area, um, Shallow Market is actually on the same road. It's Harper. Um, actually, as you progress a little further out of town on that same stretch of road, it actually turns into what some call it Shallow Road. So you have Harper Quick Stop on Harper and then Shallow Market on uh, Harper slash Shallow Road. So if you're in the Corinth, Mississippi area and you want good beers, those are my two uh, go-to places. So anyway, let's get back to the review. I've wasted enough time. I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit more into this before I start with the actual review. This thing pours a humongous head. Um, it actually pours a lot bigger ahead than normal pale ales. A lot of the reviewers on uh, Beer Advocate are saying that this thing uh, pours on the almost non-existent head. That's why you can't go by other people's reviews. Um, I give you reviews to kind of give you a broad general idea of what this beer is like and I try to do it as honest as possible. Some reviewers, I don't know if they uh, pour it slower or if they do not, uh, you know, uh, drink it chilled. I, I like to have mine around room temperature if I'm going to do a review around 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but yeah, uh, you can't go by other reviewers, guys. Uh, you got to make that, um, you got to kind of make that uh, judgment for yourself. Uh, but like I said, I try to give my most honest um, review possible to kind of give you an idea. So anyway, uh, this beer, like I said, this is their Deep South Pale Ale. It poured a beautiful, beautiful pour. Um, kind of a uh, kind of an amber, darker amber golden body. Uh, lots of carbonation bubbles coming up from the bottom. Uh, poured at first. I don't even want to measure the head uh, from earlier, but it has great head retention. A lot of the reviewers saying it, that it didn't have good head retention. I beg to differ, guys. Uh, this thing is maintaining pretty well. Uh, it's a very thick, creamy, kind of an off-white head. This beer almost looks like an IPA, guys. Um, but like I said, very, uh, very thick, creamy, um, off-white head. Still maintaining a good uh, finger and a half, two finger head. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's put a nose on it, guys. Okay, this does not, to me, smell like a pale ale. This is reminiscent of something that I had and possibly reviewed last year. I do not know what that beer is, but it's um, it's kind of bringing back some kind of nostalgia here. I do not know, but the, the aroma is wonderful, guys. Wonderful on this beer. I'm getting pine right up front. Very hop forward on the nose. Pine, uh, a good amount of citrus, lots of grapefruit um, as far as the aroma. I'm getting a, a nice grapefruit, a little bit of... Um, I wouldn't really say orange, more grapefruit. Maybe a hint of orange. Orange peel, maybe, but more grapefruit. Grapefruit um, and pine right up front. Maybe just a small hint of uh, caramel malt sweetness um, on the aroma, but pine citrus right up front. Smells like a great traditional India pale ale, guys. Um, not much of a pale ale aroma on this. But yeah, delicious smelling. Let's go ahead and let's take a drink. Let's see what it tastes like and feels like on the palate. Um, yeah, don't go by Beer Advocate or Rate Beer uh, as far as the uh, reviewers on there. They're saying that this beer is terrible. Um, once again, I beg to differ. Uh, so far, 
This thing is amazing for a pale ale. It's very smooth, yet it's very hoppy. Uh, it only has 27 IBUs, but it's very... Now, I wouldn't say very, but it's it's pretty bitter, guys. It's got a good, uh, nice, solid, hot bite, yet it's not anything overpowering, um, but it's there. Uh, I would go ahead and be willing to say that Cascade Hops was definitely one hop that was used, and more than likely, it could be, it could be Centennial. Uh, I do know this beer is dry hopped, and it's also uh, bottle conditioned. Uh, you won't be able to see um, on the video, but if you hold it up to the light, there's a lot of uh, hop and grain sediment floating all around the bottom. Um, so I'm sure that last little bit in the bottle when I pour it into the glass, is, it's going to be a lot more cloudy when, than what this beer is now. But still a lot of carbonation bubbles. Still maintaining a good half finger head. Um, great head retention, but very, very minimal lacing. A very small amount of spotty lacing, but not anything significant. Not that it matters. This beer is delicious, guys. Um, let me go ahead and take another drink, just to make sure. very delicious very crisp very refreshing i would say that this beer is a kind of a, a light to light medium bodied beer not anything too heavy but not too light this thing is uh, very crisp very refreshing be good for a summer afternoon or you know we're in spring for a nice warm spring afternoon something to come home you know, if you want the taste of a India Pale Ale, but you don't want, uh, you know, the heaviness or the higher alcohol content, this would be a perfect beer. You know, you kind of get that IPA characteristic, but yet it's still light enough to be considered a pale ale. It's a very, um, a very easy drinking beer, very drinkable. I uh, definitely would consider this a session beer. So if you see this one in stores, guys, Lazy Magnolia Deep South Pale Ale, pick it up. Highly recommended. Um, Lazy Magnolia has yet to let me down. I've yet to try. The only beer that I don't really care too much for that I've actually had of theirs is their, um, I think it's a pecan ale. Do not like that. I mean, it's okay. It's drinkable. But it's not something that I would rush out, you know, to buy. It's not definitely not a go-to. You know, if someone buys me a beer in a bar and it happens to be a pecan ale, I'll drink it. It's not bad. But um, I would love to, to, to try the, the Deep South Pale Ale. I'd love to try that one on tap. I'm sure straight off the tap, it's delicious. So if you see it, guys, pick it up. Highly recommended. Uh, Lazy Magnolia Deep South uh, American Style Pale Ale. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one last drink, guys. I'm going to let you go for the afternoon. Hope everyone's week is going great. Uh, tomorrow is the middle of the week. Um, so we're nearing the weekend. And as always, guys, drink safe, drink responsible. Cheers.